Julie said, and I'm chair of the Domestic Policy Council at the White House. And our job uh, is really, my job is to really advise the president and coordinate policy in the White House across a range of domestic policy issues, healthcare, housing, food security. And I also uh, work on rural policy. Fundamentally, what we are trying to do is um, really redress years, if not decades, of uh, of, of a kind of system in which uh, rural America really was not fully represented in the halls of power in Washington. And too often when we think of policy, uh, you know, we don't really think about the challenges of rural America. And, you know, as the president has said, and, the, and, and uh, I've learned uh, at the at the side of Secretary Vilsack, at our phenomenal Secretary of Agriculture, a real issue here is that there are real strains in rural communities, affordability costs, the costs of energy, uh, and too often, uh, families have to make terrible choices of whether you know, their, their children will be able to grow and succeed in the, in the towns and areas that they've grown up in. And that, you know, I really just want to say as a value statement, the president believes, the vice president believes, that we should ensure that there is opportunity in every corner of this country, that no family should have to face those kinds of choices. And I think what you said about the Wisconsin Farmers Union is exactly the spirit of the investments we're making, which is to ensure that their investments in every part of the country and that we are ensuring that through the American Rescue Plan, through the Chips and Science Act, through the infrastructure law that we intentionally focus, not just on cities or suburbs, but really every corner, small towns, rural communities, that there are resources here. And that's why uh, I'm proud to, I'm really honored to be here. and. Proud of the fact that our investments uh, in Wisconsin have helped contribute to job growth, but also that we are we are not standing still. And I'm excited to announce that uh, $248 million in new awards uh, today uh, are the that will be announced by USDA um, through the Powering Affordable Clean Energy Program of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. That's $248 million in new grants. USDA will forgive 60% of loans for renewable energy projects that use wind, solar, hydropower, geothermal, or biomass. And I was just talking to Brent Ridge, uh, the CEO of Dairyland Power Cooperative, um, which is one of the awards that has received funding, is receiving funding today. Uh, they are financing two solar power sites that will be connected to a battery energy, energy storage system in Western Wisconsin, um, ensuring that there's enough electricity to power up to a thousand homes annually. 